Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Jaquel, the world's worst YouTuber. Today, I come with a slightly different vibe and a slightly different kind of video. I know this might seem like a shit post, but there is a reason behind it. With what I have decided to call the pandemic panic, there is a lot of fear, anxiety, and genuine panic going on. We've seen the memes, we've seen the headlines, We've seen everything going on through the media. There's a lot of anxiety out there because of the coronavirus. And this video is not meant to make light of the COVID-19 novel coronavirus. In today's day and age, one of the ways that people cope with this is through memes. If we are afraid of it, we wind up laughing at it. Because if it's something that's scaring multiple people or something that is relatable, we are able to turn it into a meme and connect with people that we've never even met by just sharing a meme. So, that's what brings me here today. So I can offer to my viewers sort of an escape while also laughing at the very thing that has got us all worked up. I'm not a professional, I am not a healthcare expert. However, <clears throat> in the description I'm going to link a link to two videos, one by Markiplier because I think that he actually says some very, very uh, insightful things, not on the virus itself, but just like, he phrases it really well and I'll let him do it, but basically he said the worst thing that we can do is panic, and I agree with him which is why I'm choosing to invite you guys to laugh with me. And in his video, he has linked in his description several different sources to learn more information on the novel coronavirus. I am also linking a video by Dr. Mike, a YouTuber who was actually a doctor, and he talks about doctoral things. He's a family practice doctor, I believe, and he's well-informed, and something he's been doing is on his channel, Dr. Mike, he has been staying on top of the misinformation going on. So I'm going to link one of his videos in the description about him talking about the misinformation, sort of taking that head on. Now I feel I've blathered on long enough. Let's get to what you actually came here for. I have here some Corona Familiar. I tried to find regular Corona, but I couldn't find a tall boy anywhere, and really it's just for the sake of the joke, <laughs> and I didn't want to get a whole freaking six pack. That's not bad. Never had it before. Pretty good. Let's get to some memes. Now here we are at the coronavirus memes subreddit, just r slash coronavirus memes, and I'm going to do my vet best to avoid some of the racist ones because I don't stand racism, so I'm just going to avoid that. Even it says right here, issues surrounding racism and xenophobia. Basically, if you're deliberately being racist, fuck off. Simple as that. All right. First one up. Tom, World War III never happened. Australia has finally stopped burning. You know what's funny? Is this is the first time I've heard about Australia in several weeks. I'm glad to hear that it stopped burning. Ah, coronavirus, pie to the face. Isn't that just your stereotypical thing? It's just a pie to the face. <laughs> Did anyone bring any food? I feel like that's very... Uh, people are stocking up on hand sanitizer dried goods, canned foods, and paper products. Like, I live in a sort of rural backwoods Illinois town right in between uh, Rockford and the Quad Cities. And even in this little podunk town, we were still out of all paper products at Walmart. I went for eggs, motherfucker, and I'm just walking past and just like, All right. Man, no, I don't see anybody bring, bringing food in their shopping carts. People are literally fighting over toilet paper. 
I was going to say that I'm grateful that my mother-in-law usually generally hoards paper products like it's the plague all the time. So she's already stocked up, and if we run out, Cat Mom, can you help us with some butt wipes, please? This one is way too on point. Please avoid mass gatherings. Grocery store, 10 minutes later. Everybody is at the grocery store. Everybody. It's like, that cracks me up. Stay at home. Self-quarantine. If you have any symptoms, stay away. Stay inside. And inside is the last place people are going to be. Hmm. Seems fishy. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what that's about. I don't, that doesn't look shopped. Hang on. Is it shopped? Uh, from what I'm seeing, it definitely could be shopped, but I'm sure COVID-19 has multiple different meanings or multiple different ways to see it. Otherwise, maybe they are just bringing in, in, train tankers full of the virus across the country. Who knows? If you would have asked me five years ago, I would have said, absolutely, that's fishy. What's going on? Why are they transporting the virus? Now, I don't actually listen to as many conspiracy theories as I used to. And I feel like it's the best for all of us that I quit caring about conspiracy theories before I joined YouTube. When the year of the rat starts with a plague. Ironic. <laughs> I freaking love the prequel memes. I'm one of those weirdos. I think it's because younger millennials and Gen Z kids these days are actually, like, since we grew up with the prequels being around us and we didn't grow, we grew up on the prequels, we didn't grow up on the original trilogy, so we're more used to it. So I am one of those weirdos that actually likes the prequels. And I love the memes even more. Just... Wait, is it actually the year of the rat? Hang on, I gotta check this out real quick. What do you know? It is 2020. Oh no, did I just stumble, did I just accidentally stumble into a racist meme? It's a Chinese Zodiac. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm keeping this in here. But I'm seeing it as ironic, not racist. And if it was meant to be racist, screw you. The coronavirus doing more for this country than any president, lowering, lowering airline prices, gas prices, free sick days from work slash school, less traffic because of that, COVID-19 for president 2020, COVID-19 for president, don't forget to vote, we were bad but now we're good, oh is that the... <laughs> Is that the pedophile shuffle or whatever the hell it was? Wavy Websurf just did a video on that not too long ago. Well, within the last year, I believe. Oh. I didn't know virus vodka existed. I didn't know that was a thing. However, um... Anybody else out there had virus vodka? Let me know if it's any good. Let me know in the comments below. I need engagement, damn it. <laughs> ah. I wonder how that would taste. Beer. I mean, maybe do shots of the vodka and use a beer chaser. Nah, it would probably still be gross as hell. Never mind. January. <laughs> Modern Warfare, because World War Three. February. Plague Inc. Evolve. March, The Last of Us. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. So it's just video games now. But dude, I think that's great because I used to play this Plague Inc. game all the time because my number one source of information on illnesses is a fucking mobile video game. Ah, a boat. CDC, COVID-19 virus is spreading quickly in large crowds. Avoid large gatherings, people. Yeah, goes back to the, the, the Jerry one that I covered. CDC, God damn it, you idiots. I mean, for real, if there's, if there's one way that's going to help spread the virus, it's this shit. Not gonna lie. Like, haven't you seen Contagion, bruh? 
<laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow was in that, and she she knows what she's talking about. Every mom in a canceled school district. What am I going to do with my kids all day? Keep them in my house? Where I live? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm the stay-at-home parent in our family. And I understand this. Uh, my son goes to daycare three days a week, but it's only part-time. But that's usually when I get to do stuff. I get to, if I need to do errands, need to go to the doctor, that's usually when I have do things. Primarily make YouTube videos. So now I'm trying to, I've filmed three videos in one weekend, getting prepared to just upload when I can. So what am I going to do with my kids all day? Keep them in my house where I live? So yeah, I get it. I am going to need a break or my own kid. Mm -hmm. Rest of the world, panicking about toilet paper supply. Japan, laughs in high-tech ass-cleaning technology. Are we just talking about the fact that they have bidets? Bidets are getting pretty popular here in the States now. So maybe, maybe this is <laughs> how stocks and bidets are going to go up. Just all of a sudden, we run out of toilet paper. Search for bidets! And the bidet companies are like, Get your new bidet installed now for free! You know, two easy steps, simple to use. You know? Or am I just talking out my ass? Alright, I'm just gonna do a couple more. Okay? Okay? Sorry, this isn't meme review. This isn't the hard-hitting, riveting coverage of memes. I'm not... I, I am Scott Irish and Native American, okay? I'm not Swedish, to my knowledge. Moving on! Global warming. I'm gonna eradicate the human race. Coronavirus. Hello. Yeah, no, not wrong. Not wrong. And the two together. I... Here's something I noticed. Speaking of global warming... It's been in the 50s and 60s the entire last week, okay? Now, today, it was 30 degrees and it snowed. Just to make matters worse, right as soon as the panic is at the height and shit's getting closed down, nope, it's not warm, you stay in, and if you don't, your immune system will be compromised because then all your natural resistance will let the virus in and you'll be fucked. I think people should stock up on condoms too while staying home. They don't produce more idiots. So while staying home, they don't produce more idiots. <laughs> All right, last one. World shortage of toilet paper, DIY bidet at your service. You're welcome. Easy peasy DIY bidet. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Probably because I've had half of this in a matter of like 10 minutes. I am not the macho man that I've led you to believe. Did I lead you to believe that I was a macho man in the, to begin with? No. No, I didn't. All right. That's all I've got for today. I don't want to keep you guys too long. But I just wanted to lighten the mood, let everybody know that you can come to my channel, distract yourself from the scary nonsense going on in the world, and if you liked this video, smash like on that bitch, go right ahead, slap that hoe like she owe you money. <laughs> Alright, until next time, much love, peace out, namaste, and goodbye.